Welcome back, Rumo Texas Water Fishing. Uh, I'm out here. Try this top secret location. Not really a top secret location. I just kind of joke around when I say that. But I'm gonna try this popular location over here, right before you get to uh, Pelican Island from Galveston Island side. It's flounder run, flounder season. It's kind of warm right now. We are just right before a front. We get this front that comes in uh, tomorrow, and that's gonna drop the temperature and it's also gonna drop the water level quite a lot and i'm really looking to that front to uh, really trigger off a uh, flounder bite we're at the tail end of our last front so the flounder have been pretty thin you know there's been a few people that that caught them in a couple different locations recently but uh i'm just coming out just to uh just to see i toss an open invite so hopefully i'll get some of my patreons uh, to come out because I tossed an open invite in my Patreon group on my page so hopefully a couple of people come out do a little fishing with me be fishing with some gope uh, throw a three uh, three eighths of an ounce jig head a little heavier gonna stay on bottom and a fish around a little bit of structure this area like I said is popular is well, well known for the flounder to come in and kind of hang out and pack around this this little almost like a ditch if you will right at the roadside here and uh yeah we'll see what we get um but thanks for coming back if you're new to the channel hit subscribe bell notification let you know the next time i upload a video and we're going to get fishing 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 i know we're not going to catch the numbers like into the teens but i at least hope that we at least get the quanti quality we're not going to get the quantity. Looking for some 20s today. We already hooked into like five nice ones, Eric. He just broke off like on one 30 incher. <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> yeah, he's like, dang. What's going on? Was that Eric, good? Thomas, that's Eric. Yeah, you got it. All right. Yo, man said he's on. First cast after he just retired and got hung up. Let's see. It broke off. There's a hang up right there. I was just tongue up. That was a hang up right there. I drug him. No, I believe you. I'm... Dang it. You just, you you know, Eric was wrapped around that pole, and I bet there was another fray in your line you didn't see. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tie my knot good. Oh, I you didn't, didn't tie your knot good? I think I did. Baby, baby. I'm on the board. This guy was so small, I was working him back. Oh. Got a little baby. He's a little guy. But he's my guy. Baby, look at this baby. That's my baby. He's so cute. Yeah, I never even felt a hit with that little guy. And that's what Thomas said too, is that it was just real subtle. Wasn't even a hit, all of a sudden it was heavy. And I was working and working and he's just so small, he was just hanging on. Just kind of felt like I was just in a hole that just, he just never, I just never came out of. And then finally I was like, you know what? This has to be a fish. So I just went ahead and set the hook and got that little guy on but you know now i'm just kind of fishing and scanning the area more to see if there's a another one another fish or another flounder lingering around over here so just fan casting because a lot of times you will when you come across one you'll come across a couple but yeah i'm just keep fan casting you know the idea to fishing is cast toward the structure and then work it back slowly on the bottom cast toward the structure and then work it back slowly on the bottom and just fish in in a grid and even change your cadence change your retrieve go slower go faster change your um change your, your jig size change your color you know just change it up if you're not having success but in my case i'm just in a cast 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 same spot as i had the other one but this this just felt like tap 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 it was a uh 
I mean, it could have been a flounder, but I don't think it was. It's probably something like maybe a croaker. It wasn't like the pinfish kind of bite. It's kind of a subtle tap, tap, tap. Could have been a crab, but typically crabs will kind of just hang on afterwards. But the same area as that last one, so that's why I was really hoping that I caught this guy's buddy. I'm going to cast back again and see. This time I'm going to let it sit there after I throw the tap. Hopefully I can throw the tap. Sometimes they bite slow. <clears throat> you kind of got to let them sit there and, and uh, you know, lift your rod tip up and see if it's heavy. And sometimes when you're lifting your rod tip up, you drag your lure just a little bit and then they'll latch on. So I was kind of impatient with that one. I was pretty sure that that was, that was going to be a flounder. It's kind of heavy again. It's just a little divot right there. A little, a little bit of a hole right there. It might be one. I don't think so, though. Oh, that is. How funny is that? I never felt that guy. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Let's see if we get him up here. Ugh. Same location. So that tap, tap, tap must have been a flounder. And again, that's where that's where that last one was. Pretty much same spot. Same spot. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Right there. Beautiful guy. There we go. Same spot right there, bro. Same spot, same area. They're just kind of moving through. That's what I was telling Eric is that, you know. Uh-oh, don't get in that captain, buddy. Don't get in that captain. You'll mess yourself all up. Same little spot, to another little guy. Had to bring Eric down to my little spot over here. Eric down there trying to fish by himself. And now he came over here. Yup, look, he came over here and got one of my flounder. Look at my boy. It's a chip, baby, but it counts. Eric's so mad and frustrated. I think he broke up like, I think he got hung up like four times. So, I'm telling you, man, whether big or small, you know, sometimes all you need is that tug. You gotta knock, knock the dust off. Turn that frown upside down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's funny how they, how they just, flounder just come in sometimes and just pick. Whatever reason, they'll just pick a certain area. Yeah, he got after that lure though. That's a what? Are you, what are you throwing right there? Oh, uh, fluke white. That's a fluke. That's goat still though, right? Yep. That's a freshwater lure. Trout lure. Trout lure. I meant I didn't mean freshwater. I'm a trout. Might not be a flounder. Oh yeah, might not be a flounder. Maybe. They're kind of weird today. Nope little jerk that first one oh yeah there he goes he came back for it i was to say that first one did the same thing he hit it a couple times then i thought i got that long lure he was probably working his way up was cinematic Right here between here and that bowl, same spot, man. Isn't that goofy? For real. That four flounder, same little spot. Man, need to be a bigger one. Couple bigger ones. Little. Eric's over here laying down. He's just hollering for me that he has one. He walked way down here away from me to catch one. I don't know why. He didn't catch one. He's closer to me. But he walked way down here. He the sun is killer right now, so he came over to get some shade. So let's see what he got. You got one? Walk over, walk towards me. Let some slack out your line and walk towards me. You far, dog? You know I can't. You know I. You know I slip and fall. You don't want me to run? I end up in the water. 
You got a fish? Is it a good one? All right, let's see. Why you walk away from me? Why you leave me for? I got scared. You caught him laying down. That's crazy. There we go. It better be more than 12 inches, Eric. I'm going to be mad at you if I walk all the way down here he for 13. a 12-inch fish. He 13. He 13. <laughs> 12 and a quarter. Really, Eric? Hey, man. I was just really glad Eric? I got one laying down. You caught one laying down. Yeah. He's silly. Ooh, it's much cooler in the shade, boy. For real. It's like 10 degrees cooler in the shade. Hold him up. Let me see. He ain't got the spots. He don't have a lot of spots on him. He must have been laying on something. You got your pliers on? A little more clear. Yeah, I sure do. Let's see if I can get on there and get Eric said he might have a big one. Let's see. Missed a big shot. I'm holding now. Hasn't made an appearance yet. It might be a decent one. Might not be. He might have been a decent one if he had. Oh, no, nah, he's a keeper. He keep. Of course, you can't keep, but he could keep. Oh, that's a little flounder cameo. Yeah. It's about 16, maybe. Nice curve to him. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice curve. He's All thick, right boy. Nice little thick one. <clears throat> Shiver me timbers. Eric got that special needs coat. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, hold him up. Nice little flatty, flatty. Well, I think we're gonna do like we did last time. Last time we left from here and went to the ferry landing. Eric. Mm -hmm. Eric has to go to work, but I think he might come with me with me for a little while. And we'll see if Thomas wants to go. Go to the ferry landing for a little while. And uh, see if we catch some more flatties. You know, it's just so hot. You know, it is hot right now. It's so hot in this sun. I want to just jump in the water and wet way. But um, we'll go see what's going on with the ferry landing. See if we fish the bank for a few. Get a few casts in over there. Uh, just slow, you know. A lot more activity than we saw last time. Not seeing very many. It's very much uh, bait in the water. Watching one gentleman throw the cast net. He didn't catch anything either. So... Uh, we want to see what's up, see how's it, how it goes, and uh, head over to a top seeker location number two for the day. Number two, Eric's going to be late to work. Ruben's a bad influence. <laughs>